Hello, this is Adam Rainer for Slingshot World TV with the current issue, number six is worth of things you're going to have a muck about with. This is the spinner, which I've removed from the middle of the awesome Saunders spin trap, which I'm going to show you in a moment, because it also takes sporting clays, but we're really here to check out Aces, First Cast Seasoning, the Wooded Beardsman Wood Oboe Seasoning Blend, and Fowler's Chipotle Hot Sauce. And in order to do that, well, you absolutely have to bloody have a serious, serious flipping set of steak. Oh, I have to tell you, we've got Mr. Mark Clark here, my tame sharpshooter. Oh, there. Oh, okay, so that's a spinner. It's a good old thing. I really hit it with a half inch. It didn't half go. But just this one place on the back. Just zoom on down. It says something about sporting clays. I don't know if you can freeze and see that for a moment. But right over there in the middle distance, we has... The spin trap. I'm going to zoom in on it. Telephoto, telephoto. Come on in. Here we go. Weep. Oh, it's doing it slowly because I've set it to arty setting. Right. So there's a spin trap. It's got a 90 mil clay pigeon in the middle of it. Oh, look at that. Do your thing, Mr. Mark. Right. Go on, Clocky. Lovely bit of curtain see, halfway through that. Oh, you hit the... Uh, Plastic. Clip, clip the frame there so it wibbles. Yeah. Oh, look at that big hole right through it. Is it going to hold up? Is it going to hold up? Ah, it is. It's held together. It's held together. This will make the ideal uh, step back target because unless you see damage, that happened. And again, through the same hole. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Micro adjustment a little bit further up. And I have to say, that curtain's doing its thing. Yeah. Because man's got some power there. Oh, sorry, match. Elbow jibbled. That's just punching little holes. It is, isn't it? How cool is that? Clay, Let's get closer in. Right, zoom in. Because it's under pressure. It's holding the pieces together. Gives it a bit more target value, because the first one you shot, and it just went, uh, and collapsed. Whereas this is uh, it's like a tin can, only kind of a little bit more immediate. I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I'm either missing completely or going through the same hole every time. I think you might... Difficult this range to see, but no, I think you're going through the same hole each time because you're making conscious efforts to yeah. raise your aim, and you just went up one whole ball width and knocked another piece out, and another tiny bit wrecked. Yeah, there's a proof that that grouping is small, dude. Cool. In a way, that's quite cool because it means instead of like just busting the clay on one bloody one shot, shot, you've got the opportunity of breaking it out like that. <laughs> so I'd yeah. zoomed back by then. Mm. Yes, but. Uh, which gives it a better target value. So given that, you know, you can do that at range, and that is, that's way over the 10 metres sort of normal targety thing. Um, you know, I was potentially going to go, well, it's really just for half inch ammo and hitting that huge spinner, but um, a 90 mil clay pigeon is certainly something you can zoom on through with a nasty little 8 mil. Or it's, a, it's a big target, but for 20, 20, metre, 20 metre shooting, it'd be bloody wonderful. Yes. With that proof of the clay. <laughs> They're a midi. That's, that's, that's a... Yes. Actually says it on there, like a 90 mil is a, yes. mi is a midi. So it's not the biggest one. Not a mini. Not a maxi. But a the midi. midi. And, it, and it fits. You have to yeah. take the spinner out and uh, ram it in there. But um, So yeah, we're going to mess around with all these uh, slingshots. And um, and frankly, uh, since we worked on my appetite, cook us up some steak with these here seasonings. Rain her out. Right, well we're here at the Tillingbourne Trout Farm with Mr Mark Clark. He's holding, well a slingshot that I'm not allowed to talk about until I'm giving the date. That's the brand new wasp tomahawk. And Mark's been having a go on it. Show, show us it to the lens here Mark. So we well, like a nice and nice, nice and close to the camera. Um, when I looked at it in the magazine, I was giving it large about how it would be tending to be used by a proper regular shooter. And it's exactly how you've banded it up with your bands to use it. So. Tell us what, what what do you know what that elastic is on there? Something out of your I random. I don't know, but that that is that is thick, grunty elastic band. That, that I just I just found it. It's not going to last long actually. Uh, it's on its way. But it I just found that lying around in the bottom of my <laughs> bag, and um. And fit the tomahawk. What do you think of the uh, the tomahawk itself? We've been shooting. Well, it all on I the, uh... say is that that is a thick thick grunty elastic band on there, oh, and it's okay. really really comfortable with this cut pole. It lends itself to a braced grip. And uh, you think your two fingers fit in there, lovely. You can put a pink, your pinky in there if you want. You've got your thumb brace there. It's a re I'm really impressed, actually. It's not often I'll pick a frame up 
and straight away it, it, it feels natural in my hand, absolutely natural in my hand. That's a hell of an endorsement there from a top expert. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Cool, let's uh, zoom on into that target. I, I looked up and waved the camera, I couldn't find it because it's green on green. Go. See if we can hit, but there's the steers wild. Before, hit it before my band falls in half. You can hear, you can hear the power of those bands. That was uh, not long between flap and whap. And it's really, really comfortable in your hand. I can't, I can't actually even see. The steel's going so fast, I can't actually even see where it's going. Got a stinging nettle in the way now. So, uh, it's it be nice, be nice, to, nice to cut the stinging nettle out of the way, mm. wouldn't it? God, it's fast. Really comfortable. Love it. I'm, in fact, to the point that I'm going to have to order myself one of these up when they come on the market. Whack. Without a doubt. <laughs> The wasp tomahawk. Apparently, it's taken quite a lot of iterations and variations before they actually. Uh, does make a different noise when you hit that thing. Um, I haven't actually got. The... I haven't actually got my eye in with it yet. Actually, I'm missing. I'm missing. Consistently low. It's difficult to sort of adjust yeah, yourself when it's uh, that me muscle wrong, memories. That, that's not the catapult. That's me. I just got. I just got to. I just got to get the the point of aim sorted, and then. Uh, I'll be able to be consistent with it. With a general verdict from an expert, shooteth, but has been to all kinds of tournaments, even been to China. Lovely catapult. First time in his end. The tomahawk from Wasp. There we go. I'm going low every time. Let's have a go. Trying to try and finish with a whack. A hit. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Mark. You're a star. You're welcome. I'll keep keep doing it. When I was a kid, my mum used to eat steak tartare, which means a beautiful piece of beef that's not actually been cooked through. And we have Mark Clark, yeah, with Fowler's Chipotle hot sauce. Yeah, and I'm, um, I'm dying to try it on a, on a bit of raw. Go on, then. Go on, geezer. Okay. So we have a piece of this here cowboy steak, completely uncooked, raw. Look on face, right bit of sauce off his gob. That's lovely. No, seriously. <laughs> That's really lovely. Steak's lovely. Zachary Fowler would be proud of you, man. Yeah. He would. I mean, all but pulling the cow down and biting its ass. Well, that is... Um, Talk about, yeah. you know, un, un, raw, does he like it rare? It's, it's almost like we've chased it around the field, isn't it? <laughs> well, at least it's cool to outdoors temperature. Mm. So uh, this is... Uh, Mark's going to be our full verdict on the really, Fowler's Chipotle really hot sauce. Really, really good. Oh, mate. Thank you, Zachary. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you people watching this video, it's just another video. So I'm going, mm, that's nice. But hey, I have some. It'd be difficult to post that out in the mail, but um, yeah, right. So we're going to, um, I think, yeah, Mark's going to go for that. We're going to yeah, uh, try some more. Let's get cooking these bits of steaks mm. for the other seasonings too. Oh, we'll have some cooked as well. Let's go for it. Here we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, we are both so bloody full of a steak. It's ridiculous. So we sit down over the remains. Our meal, Mark's just taking his own mains back off the Jiri Senya. Military style catapult, which you weren't that impressed by, but it's called it a bit of a plain Jane, whereas I'm thinking it's kind of looking evil if you like the militaristic type thing. Yeah, they? I think horses for courses, though, isn't it? Some people love that that sort of military style. I'm a bit of a purist, I suppose. Yeah. A bit of a dinosaur. Just how heavy See you later, mate. We're just seeing how heavy they are. <laughs> yeah, we met some folks here who are busy fishing for trout. That young man's busy. Mark spent some time busy training him. Yeah, I have been. Yeah, it's been a good laugh. I couldn't laugh. stand to see a young fella not catch a fish. Oh, no, geezer. And meanwhile, the bone in the cowboy steak has been great for your pooches. So. Yeah, dog's getting that. Yeah. So we've had, a, we've had a great laugh, actually, out here this afternoon. And an enormous thank you to Tillingbourne Trout Farm for their hospitality. Tillingbourne Trout Farm, come down and shop. The food is awesome. Fresh smoked English trout stream fish. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful trout. They've got smoked salmon. Bring, got... your ki bring your kids and catch a trout. Yeah, and you can rent one of these little barbecues and cook it. And We've had just an absolutely lovely time. And uh, Yeah, meanwhile, um, part of this was um, about filming the new products from Wasp and Pro Shot, and Simple Shot, rather, I should say. Um, and uh, we'll cut this together with the, uh, the bit of Mark checking out this thing. And you can see a genuine... Oh, flipping out. I really like this. I'm going to buy one of these. Now, I can tell you that I am one privileged, fat, 
me and actually do get to keep samples of slingshots that are of mediumly low value like this is I think it's a 20 odd quid product anyway the point is is that uh, I'm absolutely certain I can say this with the blessing of Simon Wasp and Steve Wasp Mark Clark have the brand new Wasp Tomahawk oh, mate, as I'll a gift from Slingshot World, Seriously. Wasp Slingshots and me. I was really impressed with this catapult and if you hadn't gifted me this, which I really appreciate, thank you, I was going to buy one. Good man. So, um, Good man. It's a lovely, lovely catapult. Just, thank you. Thanks, I, Adam. I'm so bloody spoiled. I've got so many lovely things and I just, the degree of, oh, oh and Mark's a real serious expert as against a, oh, I like them type merchant, which is more me. Thanks for that, Adam. Oh, you're more than welcome. And, and, and literally, I know for a fact that I can back this up from Simon and Steve at Wasper just saying, with our blessing. I know I'm well, I've, and I've got a good article on those two geezers. I've got a brilliant photograph. Uh, I've got the, the wife to take the picture. She could bully them. It's straight. It's like Mario Testino. To be honest, I'll tell you <laughs> something. I'll tell you something. I, everyone that says to me, where do I get a catapult from? No. What's a good start of catapult? What do you say? I, I always point them in Simon's direction. Wasp. All the time. Always put them on wasp. Oh. Every yes. time I say, get yourself a wasp, unifox. I always say, get a unifox. It's kind of hard to hard to get it wrong with a unifox. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, if you're a bit fancy in your beginning and you're caring about different shapes and things, well, oh, other makers are available. Got to mention that Hegarty man because he didn't have a lot of things. But nevertheless, when it comes to uh, affordable awesomeness, it's got to be wasp. Thank you so much, Mark, and thank you again to yeah. Tillingbourne Trail Farm. What a lovely, lovely yeah, day. Lovely venue. Thank you, and, Adam. And uh, it's great to get that box of Iron Mandria again. I'm full of steak.